importing AutoCAD into CorelDRAW. This is a specific situation for Mr. Bill Morrow, who's having a few problems with this specific file. While we will not cover all the vicissitudes of importing AutoCAD into CorelDRAW, anybody eavesdropping, you're more than welcome. Knowing that the file Bill sent me is 12 inches by 54 inches, I have made my page size a little larger than that. So I pulled it 60 inches by 15 inches page size so I can bring in the whole drawing and see it clearly. I think to begin with, I'll go ahead and turn on the object manager. That'll help us as we go along here. Then I'm going to first import an AutoCAD DWG file the wrong way or the way that very often we'll get in trouble. And the main point of this illustration is to tell you that always when you import it, you want to have auto reduce node zone. I'm just going to explain what happens if you don't. First, we'll turn auto reduce nodes on. When the crosshair comes up wanting me to drag a box to show it where I want it, instead I'm going to press enter, which will throw it in the center of the page and bring it in one to one. So there's our part. And here's our problem. I'm going to go to the shape tool and just show that obviously this should be one line, but instead we have uh, numerous lines. As a matter of fact, normally it's 29 different lines there. I have no idea if this is CorelDRAW's fault or AutoCAD's fault. But the way the two of them get together, though, we saw all these different parts. That's why we auto-reduce nodes. Sometimes this will happen on every single object. In this case, there is no problem. Let me call your attention to this part. Now the, the curved part there is uh, just one single unit. I'm going to click up on this part. Maybe we'll go to our pick tool now and try to select just this one segment here and show you uh, another issue. Obviously, that should have two nodes, a point here and a point here. Notice, however, down on our status line, it has 46 nodes. That's the problem. I'm going to double click on a pick tool. That'll select everything and I'm going to delete that. I'm going to import the same file again. But this time, when this dialog comes up, I'm going to tell it to auto reduce. I'll not mention anything else on the rest of this dialog. It's my default and it normally works depending on how the file was saved, however, we might need to modify this to match that. But for general AutoCAD work, everything else except turn that auto reduce node zone. Again, we'll press enter to throw that in the center of our page. And now, just for kicks, we will select this same part and we'll check to see how many nodes it has. Now it has uh, only two nodes. We're home free. Not really. Very often we'll find that even with auto reduce nodes, there will be at least one part that is incorrect. Let me show you what I mean. Let's select up here. Darn it. Four nodes in there. Uh, if we select that part and go to our shape tool, we'll see that we have four nodes and two subpads. There's a relatively quick fix for this. Notice all these nodes here. It looks like a very funny, it looks like an arrow pointing away from there. That's several nodes at the same location. If it has four nodes, that would mean two different subpaths. All I have to do is delete one of those, and that would completely delete. If we can't have a subpath with one on it, so we really don't have to delete two. We really just have to delete one. Now notice we're down to what we really want, two nodes. In this particular file, I see that there's an accessories layer. That must be these parts around here. Selecting this shows me what's selected over here. So I'm not completely sure what Bill is uh, going to do with this, but I assume he's wanting to segment this curve and cut it on a laser that is smaller than uh, the total 
curve there. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. So I'm going to click on New Layer, and we'll call this uh, Block Layer. We'll make that our current layer by clicking on it. Notice the red. That means that's our current layer. Now I'm going to go over to the Smart Fill tool, which I'm going to set my Smart Fill tool up so that it outlines only. I'm going to tell it that I want no fill and that I want an outline, hairline, and uh, maybe let's make this uh, that orange there. Then I'm going to click here, and here, and here. Notice that's putting that into the block layer. I'm going to, just so we'll see a distinction now, I'm going to put that maybe as a blue line now, and we'll click on the top side in case that's the part that uh, Bill actually needs. Now I'm going to turn off the accessories, and I'm going to turn off layer one, which came to me from the drawing file. And now I hope you'll see that we probably have the combination of parts that we need cut out for this project. This is Roy Brewer, project completed.